This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Do you ever think about switching insurance companies to see if you could save some cash? Progressive makes it easy to see if you could save when you bundle your home and auto policies. Try it at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Potential savings will vary. Not available in all states. Hey everyone, welcome to Kill Me Now with Judy Gold. I am your host, Judy Gold. And uh, today is a rant and I have a lot to say. I actually was writing stuff down. And then it just keeps coming. It keeps coming. I read the newspaper. I look at my phone. And it just keeps coming. So I'm going to try, you know, with my ADD, I go off on tangents. I'm going to try not to go off on tangents. Also, the my office, which I'm in, is a mess because I'm redoing it. So I'm sure Brittany's not going to use this as the clip, but... I am looking at myself in my office and I am a slob, but I'm not really a slob. It's going to be unslobbed this week. Anyway, welcome to Kill Me Now and happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah and Hanukkah and Hanukkah, Hanukkah, yeah. I have been, um, you know what's great is I've been lighting the candles. Well, I always light the candles and my kids are lighting the candles. They think it's very important. I feel like the one good thing, the only good thing that is happening from this horrible situation in the Middle East is that my kids are well aware that they're Jews and that uh, their anti-Semitism exists in a big fucking way. So that is the one and only good thing that has happened for me. I also, uh, I wanted to talk I also, I'm going to start with all the positive and then we can just fucking go off on a rant. Um, Ben, we went to Ben's game on uh, Saturday against Western New England. Ben had 25 points and I was really proud. (laughs) And, um, you know, it's just so exciting. I can't tell you how exciting it is. When he's having a bad game and he's missing his shots, not as exciting, you know? But I'm excited for the team. I love that they win. But I've realized that sometimes I'm watching the game and I'm just looking at Ben. And that is not a good way to watch the game because I'm just watching him go, oh, and then he's going to move over here and then he's going to set up a pick and blah, 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 blah. So now I watch the entire what's going on and not just focusing on Ben. And I I enjoy the game more because I'm not so, like, sucked into him. So even though I love him, but I don't, don't, you know, I want to watch the full game. So that was great. I wanted to talk about, well, I'm going to talk about this case, this abortion case in Texas. Okay. If you have not heard, okay. And this pisses me off more than anything in the entire world. Plus I just wanted to say, I bought myself new Uggs. See how I go off? Be- not Uggs. I got myself new um, Crocs because they've, they're they really comfortable on your feet after your knee surgery. By the way, I'm doing really well, although the pain is really getting on my fucking nerves. Like I wake up in the middle of the night. I guess one of my body's like about to turn over or do something that it usually does. It starts hurting and I, it, it wakes me up. And so I don't get good sleep, but um, I am doing PT. And it fucking kills. And I'm just waiting to be on the other side of this, but I'm way better than I was the last time. So that's great. But I'm really kind of sick of being immobile and like not being able to like, here's the problem is when I, when I, you know, with the ADD, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go watch an episode of something. We're watching the crown now. And I get everything I need, all my remotes, my pillow, my whatever I need to be relaxed. And I'm like, okay, I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. This is the fucking ADD. And then 
I sit in my position on the sofa with my pillow. I get really comfortable. And then I'm like, fuck! I forgot my water or I forgot my tea or I forgot my, you know, whatever. And it's fucking annoying. So that that is because you're like, oh my God, it's going to take so much effort to get up and it's going to hurt. And, and it's just fucking annoying. It's like you have to think about it all the time. Whatever you're doing, you have to think about, okay, how do I avoid the pain? I also, went, I went to PT and she said I could go on the Peloton, put it on the highest seat height and try to go, you know, a full um, rotation. She said to start with just going back uh, up and then back and then up and then back. So I was doing up and back. I'm like, oh, that feel, feels fine. And then I did a full rotation. I was so excited because it took me so long the last time I had the surgery to do a full rotation. And then, um, so I did that and I felt like, oh yeah, I'm really cool. And, and um, you know, I'm way ahead of the game. And then I go to get off the Peloton. Okay. I don't even know. You probably heard me screaming. I took my bad foot out. I was trying to get it over the middle of the bike. My foot got caught in between where the seat clip goes up. And my right leg that was still in the little holder thing, the holder thing fell out. So my right leg fell down while my left leg was caught in between. It was, I can't even, and I just started screaming and I finally got it out. I thought it was going to be there for hours like that. So everything sucks is what I'm trying to say with this knee replacement, but I know it's going to be better. Okay. Anyway, so let's just talk about, let's first talk about uh, the Texas abortion situation. Okay. So there's this woman in Texas, in case you haven't heard, I'm sure you've heard because you listen to this podcast. So you probably are up on what the fuck is going on. And this woman has it is pregnant. She's 20 weeks pregnant. Okay. And the baby is not the fetus. I'm sorry. I didn't mean the baby. The fetus, when the, ba when it becomes a baby will not survive. And the fetus is not really viable. And this puts the woman Paxton, her name is Paxton, Kate Paxton. It puts her in this really horrible position because you know, her, this pregnancy is life threatening to her and it puts her at a risk of death or major bodily harm or not being able to have children in the future. Okay. And Texas whose Supreme court is all fucking pretty much white and all men except for two, like you got to just look at the picture of the Texas Supreme Court. You you just want to punch the fucking, you want to play fucking darts on their fucking faces and say, go fucking kill a deer and leave me the fuck alone. Okay. And so she really, she, she sued for an abortion and the, and the lower court said yes. And then the Supreme Court has temp, the Texas Supreme Court has temporarily blocked this pregnant woman from obtaining an emergency abortion. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you to tell this woman what she can do with her body and make decisions? You know, I saw this sign on, on uh, Instagram or wherever, one of the fucking shit fucking vortex go down the whole website crap that I spend way too much time on. That said... All right, I'm paraphrasing because I can't remember exactly what it said, but just act like, you know. But it said, um, the most important decision in a woman's life is not yours. And that is so true. Leave, you don't want to have an abortion. You don't believe in abortion. Don't have a fucking abortion. Don't tell other people when you want less government, you want less government. Right? You don't want government in people's lives and telling people how to live and, blah, blah, blah. and you want your guns so you could all shoot each other when you're pissed off or didn't take your fucking, uh, you know, 
mental health pills or just fucking got mad at your mother because she took your fucking Xbox away. Whatever your fucking problem or your sister, she, she you're jealous of her, so you're going to kill the whole fucking family or whatever else you're going to do. You you know, you got to go into the school and kill the teacher who get whatever. That that that's fine for you people, right? You know, oh, you got fired or you didn't get promoted at your job, so you're going to go in there and shoot everyone. That's fine. That is your right to go do that, to get your fucking gun and go shoot people. But a woman in her own body, it's her body. It's her fucking body. It's her own body. And you're telling her what she can do with her own. It's ridiculous. This forced birth movement is beyond. And you know what? Keep fighting for that, Republicans and 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 right-wingers. I don't hate all Republicans anymore because a lot of them are sticking up for the Jews, but I still hate their policies. But come on. Keep keep running on this shit because people don't want it. And you know what? People also Want gun control. So keep r- running on, oh, you're going to keep your guns. You're going to keep your guns. You're going to have your guns and your guns. Okay? So go keep it up. Keep it up. Live in the 1940s, 50s, whatever the fuck. Have fun. But this really pissed me off. And then looking at the the, the makeup of the Supreme Court and all these men staring back at you, fuck you. And the fact that people are in the streets protesting and and you know I don't like using the word pro Palestinian because it doesn't say what it's not what it means. You know Jews are pro Palestinian. We're not against Palestinian people. We're against Hamas. We're against terrorists. Okay, so stop using that. I don't like that. It it's acts like you're anti Palestinian. I have Palestinian friends. I don't want anything to happen to them. I don't want babies dying and women dying. The majority of the population in Gaza is women and children. And Hamas puts them in danger. And Israel's trying to defend itself. And believe me, you know, Israel, Israel's army is ethical. They're not, you know, you can all fucking scream at me and write to me and I'm a Zionist pig and fuck you. Okay, go fuck yourselves. Do your due diligence and stop posting bullshit. This week's episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Now, you know, I am a huge advocate for therapy. I talk therapy. I like physical therapy too, but you know, I'm talking about talk therapy. I've been in therapy since I'm 18 years old. There is nothing better, nothing, nothing better. And it is a stressful time. You know, we just had an election. It's the holidays and we're going to have to spend uh, family time or not spend family time. It's a decision you might make in therapy because therapy is really the best way, the only way to process your feelings, anxiety, depression, everything. I've been doing it for over 40 years. I know what I'm talking about. So if you've been thinking about starting therapy, if you thought about it for years and just didn't do it, please give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient. It's flexible. It's suited to your schedule. You you go to betterhelp.com slash Judy Gold. You fill out a brief questionnaire. You get matched with a licensed therapist and you can switch your therapist any, at any time for no additional charge. I've done that multiple times in my life, switch therapists. It is, it works. It works. And I know a lot of people who have used BetterHelp and they love it. So find comfort this December with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com dot com slash Judy Gold today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Judy Gold. You're welcome. Okay. Anyway, the point is that I was trying to make before I went off on the Israel thing and saying that Israel's army 
is ethical. It, they warn the people, listen, we're sorry, but we're going to have to bomb this because there's there's uh, terrorists in, in your the basement of your school and your building and your church and your hospital and your, well, they don't have churches, but whatever, mosque, whatever. We, they're storing weapons there that are trying to kill us and also harm you. So they put it there on purpose so that they can say, oh, look what Israel did. They bombed this, this uh, school. They bombed this school and look at all the kids and, and the, you know, you planted the weapons there. The Israelis warned them, listen, sorry, we're really sorry, but we're going to have to get rid of this because otherwise you're going to be under the ruling of Hamas and not good. Cause you know what? A lot of them are surrendering now. We're going to talk about that in a minute, but anyway, so people are, are protesting. They're in the streets from the river to the sea you know, pro Hamas, pro Hamas. Why don't we say it? You know, it's not pro Palestinian. They are pro Hamas. They think Hamas is resistance. This is, I'm doing finger quotes that they're resistance fighters when they're not resisting anything. They're, they're provoking and their only goal is to, to, to get rid of Israel and kill the Jews. So I can, I can't say that enough and I'll keep saying it, but the fact that, that people are out that they're protesting Jewish businesses like it's 1930 fucking nine, you know, and they're blaming innocent Jews, people who are just sitting and, you know, living their lives as Jews and torturing them, beating them up, it, 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 assuming, assuming th that they're, uh, who, what their alliances are, that, that we, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's pure and utter anti-Semitism. Okay. And these people are out in droves protesting, you know, shooting at synagogues, shooting at, 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 at prominent Jews homes, um, whatever. Okay. You know, you go to the Israel protests, nothing is burning. They're not burning flags. They're not, they're just walking. You know, we like to walk the Jews. Okay. And so all of this protesting is going on. And yet this woman in our country, in our country, cannot get an abortion, putting her life in danger. She already has kids. And where's the, where's the, where's the protesting people? Where's the protesting? Just want to know where you are on that. Guess that's not that's not important. We're going to protest for a ceasefire when we know nothing, nothing about that region. But in two months, we have become fucking experts. I, it fucking annoys the shit out of me. Okay, so that really pissed me off. I was so happy when the lower court uh, um, uh, voted in her favor, and now. The Supreme Supreme Court is is granting a or blocking blocking a pregnant woman from obtaining an emergency abortion. That's what's going on in our country, people. But let's go out in the streets and protest about something we know very little about. OK. So that was my number one rant. Thank you very much. Thank you, Judy. Okay. I also want to discuss, uh, I don't know if you watched SNL. First of all, those fucking, so they did, the opening was about, um, you know, UPenn and Harvard and MIT. They're all, you know, they went before Congress and talked about the anti-Semitism on campus. And let's just acknowledge that all three presidents were women. So that's a plus. Although they couldn't condemn anti-Semitism. Okay? They couldn't condemn it. Is calling for the genocide of the Jews allowed on campus? Is it anti-Semitism? And they, it depends on the context. It depends, like, shut the fuck up. 
the progressive left, look, I'm a free speech advocate. I'm for, you can say whatever you want, but if you're in an institution and people are uh, creating scenarios that make children un- feel unsafe and threatened, you got to fucking deal with it. And there's a lot of anti-Semitism going on. And if you're walking on campus and someone's like, you should be dead, kill all the Jews, fuck you, whatever you're saying, because Pandora's box is open and you can now be truly who you are, which is an anti-Semite, got to do something about it. Got to do something about it. Okay? It's a college. And I just, I can't, it was painful to watch. So SNL did a parody of it. And, you know, here's the issue with, I think, a lot of the my um, Jewish friends right now is that the Republican Party, a lot of people in the Republican Party are really sticking up for the Jews. And and I'm saying this, not Israel, which they are sticking up for Israel. Even Bernie Sanders said there can be no ceasefire because there can be no ceasefire uh, because they started, there was a ceasefire on October 6th. They have broken every ceasefire. Okay, so there is no ceasefire until those hostages are released and we have destroyed Hamas. Okay, they're terrorists. You think they're not here in the United States? <laughs> you think they're not coming for you? Have fun. Okay, when they come for you and you're like, but I was marching down Fifth Avenue and I was marching over by Lincoln Center. I was, uh, okay, have fun. Anyway, Fuck, now I lost, this is my ADD. D, 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 Anyway, so SNL, this is a conundrum we're having. Someone played Elise Stefanik, and Elise Stefanik during this hearing was very amazing in her, even though I cannot stand her policies, I think she is not a great person. But- as a Jew and as Elisa says, we got to stick with the people who are who believe we we should be safe and who who ver, are ver, virulently I can never say that word right virulently against anti-Semitism and Elise Stefanik really pushed them into say you know and and it went viral and she was right okay just like it's so hard to watch, you know, Liz Cheney, who I don't agree on a fucking thing. She, any of her policies, but she's right. She is right about the constitution. She's right about Donald Trump. And Elise Stefanik was right about this. And she went crazy on these women and good for her. Okay. So I feel like these people are like condemning SNL because they were making fun of Elise Stefanik and you know, anti-Semitism is, it's scary. I, I'll tell you, and I'm sure, you know, my black friends, my African-American friends, they have, they feel unsafe all the time in this country, you know? And so I get it. I get it. I get how speech and it can be hurtful and, and, and it, it's hard. It's hard, you know, and we feel unsafe, the Jews. And, and, and I think, uh, Muslims feel unsafe. I mean, there's a lot of people who feel unsafe, but uh, right now as a Jew, it's like, listen, we've been kicked out of every country. Where are we going to go? We talk about where we're going to go all the time, all the fucking time. Anyway. So I think as, as Jews are calling for SNL to apologize, I don't believe in apologizing for a joke. I think the problem here with this SNL skit was it wasn't funny. I get that they were trying to say Elise Stefanik is like getting good press after, you know, being a MAGA, you know, standing by George Santos, Santos, whatever the fuck his name is, just and and Trump and just being an asshole. And now all of a sudden I get that. But I just think it wasn't it could have been written better. And I don't, I think it was about the hypocrisy on both sides. Although as a Jew, I do appreciate the fact that 
people are coming out in denouncing anti-Semitism. And unfortunately, that doesn't include a lot of people on the left. Very, very, very left. And that's upsetting because you're progressive to a point. And it doesn't depend on the context. We've been here before. We've been here many times before. There's not even the number of Jews that were in the world before the Holocaust. I know I've said this a million times. Cut the shit. We are two tenths of 1% of the population. Two tenths of 1%. There's not a lot of us, but boy, do we contribute a lot to the world. Leave us the fuck alone. Let us defend ourselves and stop telling us how we are supposed to do that. And yes, the U.S. is is funding Israel. It's the only democracy in the region. You want them to take over? You want Hamas to take over? You want Russia and Iran to take over the world? Have fun. Enjoy. When you think about businesses that are selling through the roof, sure, you think about a great product, a cool brand, and brilliant marketing. But an often overlooked secret is actually the businesses behind the business, making selling simple. For millions of businesses, that business is Shopify. Nobody does selling better than Shopify. They're the home of the number one checkout on the planet. And the not-so-secret, ShopPay that boosts conversions up to 50%, meaning way less carts going abandoned and way more sales happening. So if you're into growing your business, your commerce platform better be ready to sell wherever your customers are scrolling or strolling, on the web, in your store, in their feed, and everywhere in between. Businesses that sell more, sell on Shopify. Upgrade your business and get the same checkout Allbirds and Skims use. Sign up for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash start selling, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash start selling to upgrade your selling today. Shopify.com slash start selling. So that's how I feel about the SNL thing. You know, I don't think SNL needs to speak about, you know, and fuck Susan Sarandon. I I can't with her. Uh, Modi and I are going to talk about that on next week's podcast. All these people who are like, I believe, I be-. and it's like, oh, really? What? Where'd you get that information from? Because a lot of the stuff on the internet is all bullshit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I just want to say, like I mentioned in the beginning, a lot of a lot of Hamas fighters are are. Uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for? I know you're saying it into the whatever you're listening this to this on, but, the, but they're surrendering, surrendering. Oh God. And a lot of people, some people are really speaking up in Gaza. Some Palestinians saying, you think we're getting the humanitarian aid? Hamas is taking it and they're bringing it to their homes. The leaders aren't even there. They're in Qatar or Qatar or whatever it is and, and sitting there in their big fucking mansions. Okay. So I I came across this guy on uh Insta. I got I just want to I just want to play something for you, okay? So the first part is and this is Matan Perez, M A T A N P E R E T Z Perez. Follow him on Instagram. He's an IDF soldier, he's very smart, okay? Just want to play a little bit of this for you, okay? To a refugee camp in the Gaza Strip, this is where a- up hundreds of Palestinian civilians, made them strip in the street in front of their houses. Hello, privileged little white boy. Yep. Talking about these guys, those Hamas terrorists that broke into Israel on October 7th, kidnapped, raped, and killed innocent civilians, some of them much younger than you. They are literally holding their guns above their heads and surrendering. If you know anything about war, you know that's how you do it. So why are they naked, you ask? Because every single one of them is a potential suicide bomber. Here's an insane idea. How about you shut the f*** up about shit you know Love nothing him. about and let us do our job? For all you clowns donating humanitarian aid to the people in Gaza, you want to know where that really goes to? There is a video now. 
really see Hamas terrorists beating up Palestinians and taking their humanitarian aid. But don't take my word for it. Let's listen to what the Palestinian people has to say. This woman is saying a lot of aid is coming. It is being distributed. That's what the guy says, the, the interviewer. And she says, no, they're taking it. Preferably with a baby. You send us humanitarian aid, but I swear to God that we get nothing. Only if we chase after them and beg. In Gaza, you should protest against Hamas, but you don't care about them. And may this photo be a reminder that if you fuck around with Jewish people, you're going to find out. Happy Hanukkah, guys. I'm Israel Chai. Peace. Okay. Here's the guy again. The refugee camp in the Gaza Strip rounded up hundreds of Palestinian civilians made them strip in the street in front of their houses. Hello, okay, privilege. so there we go. These guys are getting, these young kids are getting on. They took them out of their houses. They made them strip. They made them strip because they have weapons. They can't surrender. If a guy comes up all, you know, with layers of clothing on, says, I want to surrender, and then blows himself up in front of all the IDF soldiers, everyone's dead, you fucking idiot. They surrendered. Okay? And they have to show that they're not carrying a weapon. Like, shut up. There's a lot of people being interviewed in Gaza who are saying, we're not getting the humanitarian aid. Okay, so you keep saying, oh, Israel's responsible for this and not giving them this and not giving them that. They've been get, get, They've been giving them stuff, giving them stuff. Other countries are giving them stuff. And they take it. The Hamas terrorists take it for themselves. So do your due diligence and stop posting fucking bullshit that you believe it's a propaganda war. It's a propaganda war. There's not a lot of us. We're most of the, the Jews are on the ground fighting, fighting. And yet we, you believe their shit and you don't believe that women were raped and babies were beheaded and, and, and people were burned beyond recognition. And there's still 139 hostages being held under, like seriously, we have your values. Anyway, sorry, I had to go off on that. It's just getting really, really frustrating, especially when I see friends of mine posting shit that is obvious bullshit. And the numbers numbers of dead coming out, God bless, I, I don't want Palestinian babies. No one wants them dead or children or women or anyone. They don't want them dead. We don't want them dead. We want to eradicate Hamas and save the, the this land for us so we have some fucking place to go. Anyway, the point is, <clears throat> going back, um, is I just, it's so hard to try to explain this shit to people who are like, now nah, it's fire, it's fire, it's fire. Do you know how many Germans died, innocent Germans died? And, and it's horrible, but it's a part of the war. It's part of what happens. It's terrible. But when the Jews do it and when they try to defend themselves, fuck them. I'm sick of it. Anyway, uh, that's that. I just, um, I did have one other thing to say, but it has really flown out of my head as I went off on this, you know, these young kids and the way he speaks, these men were taken out of their homes and they were strapped and blah, 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 blah. Really? These people were fucking sleeping. And raped while their baby was put in an oven. I, are you fucking kidding me? And you don't even know why. It's, uh, okay. So, um, yeah, so that's that. I'm really calm now. Um, breathe in and out and in and out and in and out. Um, okay, so I just want to let you know that... Uh, this Saturday, on the 16th, I am at the South Orange Performing Arts Center with my friend Liz Glazer and John Fish. It's going to be a Jewy show, and there's very few tickets left. So that is this Saturday in South Orange, New Jersey. So get your tickets for that, okay? I love you. Also, on Christmas Day, Judy Gold has a show at Stand Up New York. Liz Glazer will also be on that show, among other Jewish comedians. 
Christmas Day, I think it doors open at 6 or 6.30. It's around 6 or 7. I have to look it up and I haven't done that. So I'm just letting you know that if you are hating your family, you're bored, you've, you're fat, you think you're not fat, like you're fat from your, because you can't say fat, but you know what I mean? You're stuffed. Come see the show. It's, it's going to be really fun. It's always fun. I don't know what else to say. I, I I just thank you so much for listening. And I'm so sorry that I have to continually talk about this, but there's no way I can't stop. There's no, there no change without discourse, no change without discourse. And if you want to buy a very nice gift for a, a member of your family, my book. Yes, I can say that when they come for the comedians are all in trouble. It's an, oh shit is an excellent, excellent, that was my phone. It's Mary Tyler Moore theme. And that was Elisa um, is an excellent gift for uh, anyone who loves comedy. Um, anyway, that's it for me. Thank you so much for listening. Tune in next week. Modi live. We're doing it live. Actually tonight it's tonight and it's live and I love you all. Thank you so much for listening to the end. You're the best. You're the best. I, I, I love you. Happy Hanukkah. And uh, as we always say, so long, ga 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 ga. My dad works in B2B marketing. He came by my school for career day and said he was a big ROAS man. Then he told everyone how much he loved calculating his return on ad spend. My friends still laugh at me to this day. Not everyone gets B2B, but with LinkedIn, you'll be able to reach people who do. Get a $100 credit on your next ad campaign. Go to linkedin.com slash results to claim your credit. That's linkedin.com slash results. Terms and conditions apply. LinkedIn, the place to be to be.